Madeline Rose is a women's boutique. We specialize in personal service. We uh, really cater to our customers. We only do six items of each thing and then we move on to something else, so the store is always changing. I also have a little bit of a problem that I'm always changing things, so the store is changing along with that, which I think is a good thing. The name Madeline Rose comes from my daughter. My daughter's name is Madeline Grace, my aunt who um, passed away from a stroke years ago. She was my godmother. She used to call my daughter Madeline Grace Rose. Long story, she just was a goofy, fun woman. And so then, essentially, we named the store Madeline Rose. My job before I opened the boutique, I worked I worked remote, I worked from home, and I really craved people. I craved going somewhere, and I'm, very, I'm an outgoing person. I'm very much an extrovert. I love people. I love just dealing with people and talking to people. So I wanted a place where people can come and feel like they want to be in here. And whether or not they're in here shopping or coming in and they can make a, a, a jewelry, a, a piece of jewelry, or they can stamp. I have all sorts of stamps in order to even do um, metal stamping on their own. They can use anything back there, and then the pieces are for sale to create their necklace. So we have all sorts of unique lines. Um, I did one shopping trip. I went out to the big magic show in Las Vegas, and when I went out there, I met with a lot of different clothing lines and met, developed relationships with them. So one of my favorite lines that I carry in the store is Arata, and that's one of the jackets I have on right now. I just think that the whole line is unique. It's different. There's sweaters. There's just something always about those. It's just this unique detail that you don't see everywhere else. Um, I also carry, I carry all sorts of different lines. I carry Cupcakes and Cashmere, which you'll find at some other places, but um, some of their lines are a little bit different, more specific to small boutiques. I carry an array of things. So you can start, you can find something in my store for the low 20s to mid 30s, that's sort of like the average, all the way up. Some of my items are up in the higher, like closer to 100 to $125, just depending on the range. But I really try hard to find something that satisfies everybody and everybody's budget. I don't want anyone to feel like they can't shop in here. I also really emphasize I have this locally made wall that's over here and all of that, those are all local artists. So I have really some great jewelry lines over here. I've got things from um, Bohemian, the Hout Bohemian, which is owned by a local girl and she does a lot of crystals and she just does an amazing job with what she makes. I also have another artist, her name is Dee and she does all leather stamping. The earrings that I have on right now are made by her. She doesn't she shouldn't buy that prefab. She starts with just like a raw leather and stamps it and stains it and colors it and she just does an amazing job. And then I also have a local girl who does Lake Erie Beach Glass. So there's a whole line here of that. So to the right, there's a charm bar. You can come in and I have many charms and you can come in and pick a necklace. You can pick a different charm. You can make something totally unique. Um, we also do classes where we'll teach how to make um, sorry, silk um, tassels and other different, like there's, that's an area where I also use some upcycling. So some of the jewelry that remained, I've taken those pieces apart and then included them on that wall in order for people to recreate something new. And then as you go past there, then there's also a common area and there is a big farm table that I had made for the store that accommodates up to 12 people. And that area is available for rent for private events. People can have, I've had book clubs in here, we've had girls night outs in here. I have so many great friends that I have met through the store. And I think that feeling is what, what maintains that, that relationship and what's created the relationship as well. So that's what I think I feel best about every day, is you feel like even, it, it seems silly that you might make a difference to somebody in a clothing store, but sometimes I think you do. Just by being a friendly face and talking to them and listening to what they have to say about their body images or how they feel in something and, and appreciating it and then finding something that follows that. <music>